Hello, everybody. It's Zach with Amelia Comics and Games. Back with part three of our Final Fantasy Opus 2 box opening. We managed to get a lot of things that I needed in the last section, so I'm not expecting a ton from this. I think I'm down to just one, two, three, four cards non-foil I need, so most all the foils I'll be pretty excited about, but all the normal cards are pretty much accounted for at this point. Again, I highly recommend this game. It's a lot of fun to play. The card quality is great. And sometimes the art isn't fantastic. I don't like when they pull straight from the games, but a lot of the stuff looks really, really good. All right, here we go. Rosa. Bogamnon. No, no. Scholar. Warrior. Dragoon. Oh. Ephemeral Vision. Warrior of Light Foil. This is a light forward, four cost. 8,000 power. Reduce the damage dealt to Job Warrior of Light you control by 2,000. Discard a card with the same name, pay one and tap. Choose one forward, deal a damage equal to Warrior of Light's power. I'd love, love the art on this that they used. Looks so good in the foil. Zargabath. Zar Zargabath? I have a hard time with some of these names. You'll have to excuse me. Selfie. Drace. And a non-foil x -death. We pulled a foil in part one of this. I already went over the card in that one, so I won't read it out here. Two foil legendaries so far with the Yuna. Oh no, I believe that's three. Yuna, Warrior of Light, and Amon. So, pretty good. Imaginary Champion. Astrologian. I love the art on these Final Fantasy XIV characters. Kiros. Ninja. Ranger, Edward, oh no, Viking, the cards are sticking together a little bit, a foil Cyclops, I also love Final Fantasy Tactics, I think that's one a lot of people sleep on too, Edge, Ormi, Kestis, and a non-foil Amon, we went over that one, I believe, in the second video. You can check it out there, but I won't read it out to you. It's been a pretty dang good box so far. There's not really much of value in Opus 2. It's one of the weaker sets in the, uh, the entire game. But, as I've said before... I'm just trying to complete my collection. Semblance of a Witch. Black Mage. Knight. Cyclops Nonfoil. Bogamnon. Dragoon. Ranger. And Foil Tella. I was a big fan of him in Final Fantasy IV. Saws. Edge, Reeve, and a Golbez hero. Let's take a look at this. Eight cost lightning forward. The cost to play Golbez onto the field is reduced by two for each job Archfiend of different name put into your break zone. When Golbez attacks, select one from the following. Choose one forward, dull it. Deal all forwards opponent controls 3,000 damage. Or choose one job Archfiend from your break zone and add it to your hand. So it lets you use your Archfiends to play little guys early on. And then uh, you can get them back with him later. That's pretty neat. Now, I am not a competitive player by any stretch when it comes to this game. I kind of barely know how the rules work. I've played a couple of times, but 
I'm more into the uh, the collection aspect of this one, just because of my love for the franchise as a whole. Here we go, Warrior of Antiquity, Redis, Moomba, Ifrit, Leviathan, and I think the cards just look so good. Sid Polandina, Summoner, a Foil Logos. Normal Logos, Renoa, oh, just the rare, we're looking for the legendary one, Agrius, and Ash, this was one of the ones that I needed as well. A three cost water forward with 7,000 power. When Ash is chosen by a summon or an ability of an opponent, Ash gains plus 3,000 power till the end of turn. You pay two water, you can activate her. And then Heaven's Wrath. Discard a card named Ash and pay two water. Ash gains plus 2,000 power and first strike until the end of the turn. So if you have 4, 000, uh, or four water ener energy uh, crystals that you can spend, she becomes a pretty formidable uh, blocker here. You can swing with her and then uh, untap her to, or activate her, excuse me. I use terms from other card games I've played for much longer. And then uh, she can end up blocking with first strike. Okay, here we go. Warrior of Antiquity. Imitation Liegeman. Astrologian. Ninja. Edward. Ninja. Looks like we're getting another ninja here. Dragoon. Foil Ninja. Three different kinds in one pack. Bergen. Radia. Kuchulain? I'm not sure how exactly you pronounce this guy. But I've always loved the design on this summon. And Rubicante. Four cost, fire forward, 9,000 power. When it attacks, activate all the forwards opponent controls. Discard a card named Rubicante and pay a fire. Name one element. Rubicante cannot be chosen by summons or abilities of the named element this turn. It doesn't seem particularly strong, but like I said, I don't know much about the competitive play, so it's hard for me to be an accurate judge of that. Right, the last pack for today's video here. We're just doing six at a time. Just little bite-sized things here, and then you can go about your your day here. Mont Blanc, imaginary champion. I hope you're having a great day. A machinist, time mage, Vaughn, ranger, Sid Polandina. Foil Sage. Not a bad card. Shalua. Balthier. Fusoya. And Gabranth, another legendary card. Let's take a look. Seven cost Earth Forward. The cost to play Gabranth onto the field is reduced by one for each point of damage you have received. If you have received six points of damage or more, the Earth Forwards you control gain Brave which means they do not have to uh, tap to attack. Not, not the, the strongest of cards, but I'm not going to complain about pulling a, another legend in there. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. Once again, I strongly recommend trying this game out, going down to your, your local game store and seeing if they carry it. I know there is a tournament scene here. Uh, well, it's a worldwide one, but... Uh, it's a very, very fun card game. Uh, pretty unique. I haven't played one that's really quite like it. And always, even if you're just trying this out for the first time, I still say go down to your LGS for all of your card game needs. They need your support a lot more than the Walmart or Target does. Let's just take a quick look at the rest of these guys right here. That is, that's just stunning art on this. Oh, I hope you all have a great day. Thanks so much for spending a little bit of it with me. 
and I'll see you next week for part four of our Final Fantasy Opus 2 unboxing. Bye.